G'day all, uh, welcome back to another ASH applications video. Uh, in this uh, video what we're going to cover is, um, I've got a new um, slouch out here that I'm doing up for a customer, so I'm going to place you know, the, the normal accoutrement on there, puggery, uh, chin strap, the rising sun, uh, and this one's going to have a rainy badge on it. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to rebash the, the crown. Uh, this is a, this is brand new from the clothing store, and this is how they come out now. Uh, but I reckon we can uh, improve on the shape of that bash. Uh, now, traditionally, what we usually do is just dunk it in water. However, for this one, I'm going to try another method, uh, which we'll see if it turns out. Uh, if it does work out, we'll consider using that in the future and see how we go. Right, so what we're going to use today is we're going to use steam so there's uh, a few methods we could use uh, to produce the steam to uh, bash the hat and one is by using what the hatters use and that is a purpose-built steam machine but we're not going to outlay 500 bucks for one of them just at the moment we could also use something um, uh, that's found in uh, household items like a kettle uh, or we could use another steam implement that you have like a steam cleaner. However, what we're going to use today is something that you can find in every house and um, we'll just rig it up and see how it works for our purpose So today. what I've got here is um, I've got some water on the boil. I've just placed in two um, similar length spars of timber there either side. That's what the hat brim will actually rest on. And so we're not actually dunking the crown of the hat in water. We're actually going to have it raised slightly above the water level, bring the water to boil, and then let the steam stiffen, or correction, soften the crown of the hat. So I'm going to let the um, hat stay in that position. Right, so that's about, oh, about 10 minutes we left it on there for. Um, let's see now, it's it's nice and soft, uh, so we might try and give that a, a go to, to bash it and put it into a shape and play our, place our hardening agent onto it and let it sit. So we'll see how we go. Right now, so you've got a, I'm just placing the puggery on uh, to make sure I can bash it, bash it so that the crown doesn't fall below it. And you've got to work pretty quickly uh, once you've got the steam there because it does uh, tend to fall back into its hardened shape pretty quickly. Right, so once we get into a um, spot that we like, um, we hold the crown into position with some bulldog clips. Okay, once it starts foot, um, getting hard again and you, and you still need to do some work on it, you just place it back under the steam uh, and work on those areas that you need to. So that's what I'll keep doing. Righto, so once we're in a position where we're happy with the bash, and that didn't take long either. Um, I think that once again the longest time is just waiting for the water to boil, getting the steam up. Um, you can see that it's holding its shape pretty well. We've just got some metho now. Um, you can use, I use methyl a lot for the hardening agent. You can use rubbing alcohol um, indoors, so you use starch too on the brim. Um, I find methyl works really well. 
And so what we'll do is we'll, um, in, and uh, the benefit of this technique, and we'll wait to see the end results really, um, see if it does hold its shape. Um, the benefit to this is it takes a lot less time. You're not, you're not waiting no 10 to 12 hours um, for it to um, soften in using the water. Right, now, so there you go. We've applied our uh, coat of uh, methylated spirits, uh, just letting that soak in, um, and um, let it set and see if that actually works. Hold shape. Um, we, got, we are. We will have some um, indentations left from the uh, bulldog clips there, but then um, we'll just brush them out. They'll come out, uh, and the next thing we do after that is. Uh, we'll line the brim up and get that into a, a good state and go on with building the rest of the hat. So. Right, so what we're doing now is uh, we're up to the stage where we're going to get rid of uh, the bits and we're going to use the same method we do on the brim. So there you can see the indentations left. So we just give them a quick squirt of water and once we've done that we'll grab our damp uh, cloth, place that over the top and we'll use the steam iron to give a shot of steam uh, into those. Steam iron's really good for it because you can um, concentrate where the steam goes. So um, just keep applying the steam. Once the steam's applied, you don't have to do it uh, overkill on it and you just keep checking it and hey presto, it's like magic, you have uh, forms into um, a really good shape and we just continue to work on those indentations as we see fit uh, using the same method it works really well Uh, so what you might notice uh, when you pull the uh, damp cloth out, you may notice there might be some um, small stains left behind by the bulldog clips. Uh, we've got a method to get rid of those as well, so we'll go on with that next. G'day all, so you would have noticed the uh, the minor sort of marks there left by the bulldog clips. Um, so what we've done is we've gotten rid of them from this side. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just show you how we did that. Hey, if you do get little minor marks like that on your slouch hat. Uh, first of all you can just try and brush it off with a stiff brush, because it's just on the felt. And these are a Kubra, so they're very hardy. Alright, so if that doesn't work, the next best thing we do is we grab some sandpaper and we keep the grit like high so that's a 250 grit all right so it's quite gentle and you just gently rub uh, the affected areas until you see it come off all right Repeating that process. Well, that's pretty much done. Just give the hat the remainder of a brush off. Um, that come up pretty good. So that. Um, by using the steam method like we did there, that's that's quite hard now. Now that we put the, the metho on it and it's retained its shape, so it's looking pretty good. So I'll just continue on, just brush it off a bit. I've already done the brim. And then we continue to build the hat. Right, so we've finished building the, the hat up. Um, conclusion there is that the, the steam worked really well. Uh, you just have to work a little bit quicker, 
than uh, than you do with using the traditional one with the um, using the water. Uh, using the water allows you a lot more time to actually perfect the the bash. Um, so if, you, if it's your first time bashing a hat, I would, I would suggest recommend I would re recommend using the uh, the water method. But the steam method works just as well. So there you go. We've built it up. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll place it into one of our slouch hat carriers and present that to the customer. There you go. Thanks for watching.